Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. My name is MathMedy. I make Minecraft Battle Edition content. And today I have something very, very, very special prepared for you all. And that is that Mojang sent me a beta APK, so for Android, because I'm on Android, with the Java redstone mechanics because people want to have those mechanics on Bedrock 2 and they needed someone to test it and then they found me and sent it to me. Yes, I know that this sounds very crazy, but it's actually true. Yeah, now let me show you the fun things in here. There are two things for now that would be quasi-connectivity on the right side and block dropping, block spitting on the left side in here. There and there. I just don't want to destroy any blocks now. But that would be the idea. Now, how to activate this is a good question. And they told me that they really have two different options. The first one would be that you can activate and deactivate it in the settings. So you would just go to your settings and there would be something to switch on Java Redstone. Or the other thing would be that you can have like normal pistons and then put them in a crafting table and transfer them to Java pistons. So that would work with all components that you have the bedrock ones, normal ones, and then you put them in the crafting table and it gets like a Java tag or I don't know. Now let's begin with quasi-connectivity and this is working a bit weird. I don't know if I understood something wrong in here because I don't really know the Java mechanics, but it looks like the first piston is activating nearly instantly and then this one on the bottom is activating a bit later. And also these two wool blocks here are just so that you can see that I don't place any levers or whatever with a second account. Um, yeah, but I asked them and they told me that it is how I thought that it was and that is that the game knows now that it should activate the piston on the top because that was always in the game. But then a few a few game takes later it checks a radius around it for other pistons that it could activate. And then it finds this piston here and activates that one too. So let me just quickly show that to you another time from this angle now and from this angle and whatever. You see how it works. Now here comes the actually really amazing stuff. The block dropping is really well implemented. I can really see that it's oops <laughs> a very good thing. Now let me show it to you by activating this lever, I activate this observer and it triggers these pistons and now prepare yourself for some magic. Look at this. This is absolutely mind blowing. And just that you see that I didn't modify pistons or anything myself. I have a normal piston in here. So I meant just that it didn't modify pistons in general. You saw it there anyway, but I just wanted to show it here again. Now, I can't get enough of this. Oh, wow. <laughs> this was a bit buggy now, but normally it works. Most of the time it works. Let's just say that. Yeah, that was really it. Thank you very much for watching. Let's hope to get some more features in the future. And I'll see you in the next video. If you like my content, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And I'll see you 
in the next video. Bye.